outside so you can see it a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to see it with a little more light. It, what I, <laughs> the the uh, image I was using to come up with this pattern for the Mora, because it has that nice groove here, and that's for this section here. So it slips right in there, locks in. And then I don't, the problem I had before was the other knife, it kept popping loose out of that plastic sheath it comes with. And my Mora blade would end up on the ground, and one of my kids would be like, hey, Dad, you dropped your uh, Mora. Like, what the heck? You know, I just bumped into something and it just falls right out. So it was getting on my nerves, and I just decided to come up with something with a clip. So it's got a steel clip, and never mind my hands. I always get a die on my hands. I gotta go um, scrub them off here in a minute. The, uh, with the Mora knife, you, you got your blade right here. And I love the carbon. And it's always good for a lot of things. Like if you find chert and you can, you know, you can spark up, you could use it as a flint. You know, you can, you can do a lot of things with a carbon steel blade versus, you know, your stainless steel. But anyways, that's the purpose of this. Plus, I use this for a lot of other uh, uh, field stuff. And you can clean, uh, you can clean real well with these two as far as, uh, you know, butchering or whatever. Anyway. It washes it well. It washes well. It doesn't have a lot of grooves and cracks for stuff to get in either. Anyways, but the knife, I, I did the, <laughs> the one I was doing called for a uh, ferrule rod to be uh, in here in the center. And it had some artwork or something. I'm like, dude, I just want a place to put a lighter. Because uh, I don't know about you guys, but there's like a million and one hacks for survival and lighters and making fires even if this thing blows to pieces and there's nothing no no fluid left at all you can still shave off the plastic and strike this thing and still make a fire just like you would you could use the plastic itself as a fire uh, a fire tender or a fire starter or something along those lines starters and tenders are different people always tell you one way or another uh, tomato tomato right but anyways, the, um, I'm going with yellow. I was looking for an orange one, you know, orange. And I was going to shove this yellow one in there. And then I, I found this is for a, a neck piece. So you can have a lighter and it retracts on a retractor. You can find those at gas stations. And just slip this guy in there. And I just make sure you're, uh, you either take, you can remove this tab completely so it's not pressing it. Uh, or just wiggle it back and forth and it won't press it, any, press it anymore. But you'd be amazed at how fast you can lose some fluid because it's pressed. But just do that and you'll be good to go. But if it bothers you, just do this. Take the tip, crack it off just like that. Nothing's getting pressed and the lighter still works. Okay, That's just one little trick there to get rid of that problem. But something like this, so you can you can access that much faster just by grabbing that and pulling it. And you can do that with paracord and some electrical tape as well. Something like that would be nice. But you know, a lot of folks will, oh man, what is that? You know, instead of. Uh, but these come right off. Just take that off there. So like this one here. I think this gray one has a little bit more fluid in it. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. I don't want to lose any fluid and you can also do it like this if you want to but I'm doing it for fast you know quick draw you know get a lighter out and, and uh, start your fire up real quick quickly start a fire and get back to it just like that BAM and that's how you do it it's real simple real easy and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it please like share subscribe God bless take care